Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode 20,000 Patties Under the Sea, requested by Feel the Power. So, 20,000 Patties Under the Sea is about when SpongeBob and Patrick are just having yet another ordinary day at Jellyfish Fields. Until SpongeBob and Patrick, they trip over something that's sticking out of the ground. So, when they dig up the ground, they find out that it's this submarine. So, SpongeBob and Patrick, of course, they go to the Krusty Krab to show Mr. Krabs the submarine. Mr. Krabs and Squidward are trying to find ideas on how to bring the Krusty crab to the customers. So that's when Mr. Krabs gets the idea that the submarine that SpongeBob and Patrick found, they deliver the Krabby Patties to the customer so they could get business going. Meanwhile, Plankton sees that SpongeBob and Patrick are in the submarine, so he himself tries to bring the chum bucket to the customers, and which, as we can predict, isn't really going to work out well. So, in my opinion, I actually loved watching 20,000 Patties Under the Sea. I really loved the idea of SpongeBob and Patrick in the submarine bringing the Krusty Krab to the customers. I thought on the writer's part it was very well done with a lot of great jokes, with great execution, and just a very well done storyline behind it. And then, of course, what makes this episode even better is the fact that Gene Simmons, who is one of the members of the rock band KISS, actually guest stars as the sea monster in that scene where SpongeBob and Patrick, they fall deep into the abyss and they meet the sea monster who has been hibernating for 79 years. Holy shit. The sea monster's role isn't anything too huge, but it was still really cool to see the sea monster, and I thought Gene Simmons actually fit the personality of the sea monster well. I thought he provided a very good voice for the character. And then there's the subplot with playing 10 in which I thought it was flat out funny, particularly in this one scene where Plankton is insulting everyone, like this one entire scene where you're like, hey, you can't talk to my son that way, and then Plankton would be like, how about try losing some weight, fatty? Oh, but what he told to the grandma, it was hilarious, but it was flat out messed up at the same time. Like, you know Plankton can be evil and all that, but that one scene, he shows like, damn, he can really insult people. And I did like when SpongeBob and Patrick were making Krabby Patties for the sea monster because he was very hungry. The ending of the episode I thought was very funny too. So I thought the writers did a really great job writing the episode, coming up with the idea. It was definitely very simple, but in my opinion, it was a lot of fun to watch. Now, the only flaw, this is so unnecessary, but that scene when SpongeBob is all like, bye Squidward, Bye, Mr. Krabs. Bye, Squidward. And then Patrick says, you said bye, Squidward, twice. And then that's when Squidward says, I like Squidward. I mean, really, writers. Like, you, it was cool when SpongeBob said that, but when he had to do bye, Squidward, like... It's like the whole entire episode I was loving, but it just had to be that one little moment that just took me out of the episode just a little bit. I still thought 20,000 Patties Under the Sea is a very adventurous, simple, but highly entertaining episode. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of 20,000 patties under the sea? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!